kind of giving yourself into this newer power. So then you're kind of on a search for more power and demons thrive on that. Like so they Star Wars. I guess yeah, you, in a similar way. Like a bit of the dark side of the force and you're like, that's not this bad, and then all of a sudden you're a wrinkly old man shooting lightning at your butt. But yes, you had Maleficent for your <laughs> your second character, which luckily, yeah, you they had a lot more voiced options. So I feel like because obviously your character had a voice as opposed to which the warden I, who I, didn't have one. Hmm. Although I did, I did kind of like that the warden didn't have a voice. Kind of the same as I did like in Far Cry, having um, or Far Cry Five specifically, and the rest of them I think that they talk, but I've only played three. Um, like having a mute protagonist is. Um, it's kind of fun when you're streaming specifically because I can sit there and I can have like a four minute rant and be like, this is absolutely what I would say to you if I was really there. Uh, and then I don't click a button and have them say something entirely different. No. Yeah. That is, that is one part that annoys me. Like I am all for sassy Hawk, sassy Hawk all the way, which is a lot of the decisions that you made as well. Um, but sometimes you would be like, oh, I'm going to choose this. And then they would be super aggressive. And you're like, whoa, that is not the feeling I got from that at all. Yeah. <laughs> but. Okay, uh, so I went first last time. What did, what did you do in two? Okay, okay. Uh, the, my very first playthrough. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, no. I was a I believe I was a mage um I had the the hair that had the fringe because I'm apparently obsessed with fringes um <laughs> and so I therefore had Carver instead of Bethany um, right. because one of the the siblings will die depending on which character you choose that was um, so sad which I mean also yeah. I didn't give a shit about him because it existed in my game for like 30 seconds no, and then he died. Is, Carver is a dick. Carver is actually a dick. I contemplated playing a rogue just so that I didn't have to deal with Carver, like for like my <laughs> most recent one. But this yeah. is this is like my first playthrough. Yeah. Um I romanced Fenris, which is amusing because I was a mage. So Yeah, how does that work? Yeah, it's really fun. Um, <laughs> I actually friendship romanced him too. It wasn't rivalry. Oh. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Um, and which is really interesting because they had the the mechanic in uh, Dragon Age Two where you have the option for friendship or rivalry. Mm. And I like, don't understand that because I desperately wanted everyone to be friends with me, so I made everybody be friends with me. But if you go rivalry, is it basically like hate fucking? Like, what does that mean? Well, I mean, <laughs> you could say that. But, like, dream. I guess um, a good way of putting it, like, the way I always see it with Fenris because I have done his rival mates quite a few times um, because it's easier because he just hates every decision that I make. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it is also hard in some ways because he hates every decision that you make about mages, but he doesn't hate every decision that you make about slavers. So it's like... God damn it. Um, <laughs> uh, I just got a message about the coronavirus. Like, oh, yeah, so did I, and I was I ignored it. Um, uh, so uh, with rivalry, it's basically like uh, with Anders, it would be like you don't support the majors. I do, but I respect your opinion. Like it's like okay. it's very um, – like, I, or maybe a better example would probably be with, uh, actually with Fenris, um, because you would support mages, um, and he would be like, I don't support magic, but I support you. So in, in a similar way of like how Aveline at the end goes like, you know, I don't support what you're doing, but I will stand by your side. How did Aveline at the end, she's like. <laughs> She literally does a full, like, a 180, 180 not a 360, because yeah. 360 would get her back into that. I hate that saying because I always get it wrong. I'm like, oh, yeah, she does a full th full circle and comes back to exactly the same decision. But, no, she's like, I can't abide this hawk. And then I'm like, well, fuck you. I'm doing it anyway. And she goes, well, I guess I'll stay with you. <laughs> it's just yeah. like, 
I was Which, expecting her to fuck off the way that Sebastian did. I guess, um, and and also Fenris's reaction is very rivalry like, where he's like, you know, I don't agree with what you're doing, but I I am here for you, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, so like that's how it works. Like with Meryl, you avidly go against her, um, doing the mirror, and yeah. she's very angry at you about it. But she's, I don't know, her rivalry stuff is very like childish, and I think she's a child and don't really like her. So she is very childish the whole way through. Yeah. Which I thought was cute for a while until she started doing things that I didn't like. And I was like, okay, now grow the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much exactly it. Like, you just have to be an adult. Fuck off with your blood magic, you dumb bitch. Yes. I mean, mm, anyway. <laughs> you judge I me. Am, I am very on the fence about the blood magic stuff uh, because I think it's an, a very important tool because you are using the energy from yourself as opposed to the energy all around you. However, I don't agree with turning yourself into a big, weird abomination that uses the corpse of all of your, your freshly dead friends. Yeah. That's a big nope. <laughs> well, can you do without demons? Yes. Blood magic has nothing to do with demons. It's just more that huh. because they're enticed, like, uh, I guess it's like it's the whole idea of temptation, right? Blood magic is seen as temptation because you, right. um, uh, you're kind of giving yourself into this newer power so then you're kind of on a search for more power and demons thrive on that like so they Star Wars. i guess yeah you, in a similar way like a bit of the dark side of the force and you're like that's not this bad and then all of a sudden you're a wrinkly old man shooting lightning at your butt like no, exactly which is actually why i fucking oh why anders shits me to tears that he's so polarizing on it like he's like no 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 blood magic but i'm gonna take in a spirit turn it into vengeance which mind you mine no but that's what he did <laughs> like so basically the way that it works is that he the spirit of justice from awakening yes melds with him right and because he's a fucked up baby emo boy he turns <gasps> the spirit of justice into the spirit of vengeance Yes. Which is considered a demon. But like a nice one. No, no, <laughs> not at all. But I guess it's like, I guess the, the part about him, red. The, the part about him that shits me isn't necessarily that he does all of this and that he, he does all of the things that he's do, he does. It's that he's so contradictory about it. He acts so self-righteous and so like, you know, I make all the good decisions and everything's all good and everything's all right. But it's like, no, you are now vengeance. You now have vengeance living inside of you. Admit that. And that is fine. Like you can go on your vengeance spree. You can go and blow up the chantry. That's fine. I'm okay with that. But admit that you're doing it because of vengeance. Don't admit you're doing it for justice. Like just don't run around being like holier than thou. Like I'm better than everyone because I have a justice spirit inside me. But like, bitch, that ain't fucking justice. That's vengeance. I yeah, I, we haven't finished talking about your playthrough or my I playthrough. And I think <laughs> right up to like where I'm going to start yelling at you, and you're going to start yelling at me. Uh, <laughs> I don't really view it that way at all. Mm-hmm. but I personally don't see very much difference in real life between justice and vengeance. I feel like it's, it's, it's justice is a darker concept to me than I think it is for most people. Like I very much view justice as you hurt my feelings. I'll hit you in the face with a stick kind of thing. So- <laughs> yeah, but I get that. And I agree with that. I guess it's more like I'm looking at it from the perspective of, you have a justice spirit and a vengeance spirit that are basically two sides of the same coin. Like one is with the intention of exacting justice for a just reason. And one is with the intention of working against something that has happened to you personally, which can be a just action. Like the actual idea of justice and vengeance itself is such a like it's such a melded area but yeah. in terms of the world of dragon age and the world of dragon age spirits it's such a it, for me it's like such a different thing mm. 
Like you could be just, yep. and you would be just, for example, in killing Loghain, mm. but you are also exacting vengeance. But in yes. terms of spirits, it's different. Yeah. Because you are, you would either be a vengeance spirit or you would be a vengeance, uh, sorry, a justice spirit. You're not both. Uh, yeah. No, I, I see that. Pardon. Okay. I'll just cut this yeah. bit out where I have. I think we're done. Um, <laughs> continue telling me how you went, like, we, what decisions you made. Oh, right. Yeah. So just go on an Anders tangent. Look, honestly, anytime oh, yeah. Anders well, comes up, I'm like, it. fuck you. Um, <laughs> uh, I, what did I do? What kind of decisions did we make? Um, I was ruined by Hawk's mother's death. Oh my uh, god! That was hella fucky. Um, I killed Carver in the Deep Roads. Um, so if you take your sibling with you to the Deep Roads, yeah, and you don't bring Anders with you, they suffer from they get ta- they get the taint. No, well, what? yeah, no, I didn't bring him with me. Um, they get the taint. So you fight a bunch of Darkspawn, they get really sick. And they die. But if you bring Anders yeah. with you, he knows where some uh, wardens are located. Who then you get your sibling to join the wardens. Wait, so they go away anyway? Yeah, they're gone there's either no, way. There's no way you can have your sibling with you through the rest no. of That is so rude. And it's super important that you get like friendship or rivalry with them in that like first act. It is so crucial because otherwise at the end of the game, like in my stream playthrough, Carver turned on me because I chose the mages and he was like, no, I can't do this. I'm not going to, I'm not going to let you do this and fought me. Oh my God. Wait, so you killed your brother? Yep. (laughs) I have no shame. (laughs) <laughs> oh my God. I would not do that to Bethany because Bethany is amazing. I love Bethany. But love Carver Bethany. is a little bitch because he runs around and he's like, uh, because you have to play a mage to have him. Yeah. And he runs around and basically says like, magic is all that is like the problem with this family. Very Fenris-esque actually. Um, but the problem with his interpretation of it is that he basically turns into a Gamlin clone. Blech. And I'm like, <laughs> At least, like, Fenris has a reason to be annoyed about magic because it's literally branded into his fucking skin. But, like, Carver is just like, magic. Eh. We're always going to run from the Templars because you're magic. Eh. It's like, how about you just remove the Templars? Then it's not an issue, is it? Uh-huh. <laughs> but no, you're going to blame me instead. Sure, let's do this. <laughs> what a shit. I'm so glad I didn't have him around. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so there's a two out of three chance that you're going to have Bethany. Yeah. That's good. Because, yeah, if you're a mage, then she dies. So. But he's a dick. He sounds like it. Like, he's never nice. Like, there's no point in that game where he is nice. It's, ugh. It, but, yeah, I, I got him killed in the deep road. I didn't mean to. I got him killed in the deep roads, though. Um uh yeah that was pretty heartbreaking i mean oh it was kind of like you know i didn't really like you anyway but i was like my brother (laughs) like a half of other than the fact that i always like mages i just don't want to play a mage i always like magic Hmm. um like a lot of the reason in two that i was like yeah fuck yeah mages was bethany Yeah. yeah even after they took her away from me I know, she's so sweet and lovely. But yeah. Um so yeah, I got Carver killed. Uh I'm trying to think of what really like big decisions count, because there are a lot of decisions that you make in that game. Yeah. Um I killed uh Bartrand when I had the option. Uh, uh I-, I took the money. I didn't do the devil deal. Um, in the in the deep roads, uh, yeah. um, I think they're like the big main ones. Like a yeah. lot, of, the other ones like impact your game a little, but not like hugely. Uh, and I supported the mages because I was a mage, so that would make a lot of sense. Um, yeah, otherwise, I no, I up. Huh? 
lock me up, take away my freedom. I support the Templars. <laughs> well, no, it wouldn't have been lock me up. It would have been murder oh, me. Kill me. Literally <laughs> right of an almond as a mage just standing right in front of you like, yes, I support this. Oh, my God. I didn't think that. <laughs> but also, okay, yeah. So those were the main decisions. I So, yeah, killed Carver uh, accidentally. Didn't mean to. Um, <laughs> killed Carver, killed Bartrand, which still means that Meredith goes and does her thing. Um, and I sided with the mages. And I romance yep. Venerous. Oh, yep. and I killed Al- uh, Anders. <laughs> I hated him, though. Like, I genuinely I, yeah. hated him. So I was like, this is a perfect opportunity to just go... <laughs> This has nothing to do with what you just did. I just don't like you. <laughs> Bitch, you're doing justice while I'm doing fucking vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that was pretty much it. So we did most of the same things. We just did different people. Oh, uh, except I lost Isabella forever because I wasn't good enough friends with her. Oh. So she when that part when she runs off, she doesn't actually always come back. Oh. So... Which I wasn't super sad about because I just, I wasn't all that keen on her. Um, And I think it's because, like, she was interesting when she was around, but then you find out about the thing that she stole and it's like, so you've literally been putting a whole bunch of people through, like, all of this really shitty stuff just because you won't give a book back. Like, I was just very, like, you know what, at least Severin, like, straight up tried to kill me and then went, maybe I won't do that and did it. Like, you know, like, he he at least went from, like, his redemption arc started right at the fucking start. Yeah. Isabella's redemption arc starts at, like, the end of Act 2. Like... <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Uh, or, or it just doesn't happen. Or she just fucks off. <laughs> like... <laughs> but, yeah, um... So, yeah, I lost her completely. Uh, oh, and I, I didn't kill all the elves, but I did... Yeah, the keep it did die. No, I think I just straight up refused to do Meryl's quest because I was like, that's no. <laughs> yeah. No. Probably should have just straight up refused to do it. Yeah, but then it still shows up in your, your quest log, so it's still I mean I I initially did um the first time where you can make a choice to be like, I'm gonna help you, I said no, and it showed up in my quest log anyway, and I was like, Well, I guess we're fucking doing this. Yeah. So I just, I, but I just forcefully went like, no. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Yeah. Okay. So, t- teeny tiny break, and now we talk about my playthrough, which was yeah. also pretty similar, I think, to yours. Yeah. Except, for, except like, for the romance choices, it's pretty I similar. Had romance choices, and also I was a rogue, so I had Bethany. You said you didn't want mage. I like her. Facially, she actually... Somebody somebody I think said that they changed their faces a little bit so they look more like the faces that you choose. Hmm. So I might have done a kind of shit job at making my hawk look like me, but I did successfully manage to make Bethany look like my sister Candace. Oh. <laughs> but with dark hair. Oh, interesting. She doesn't, look like, she doesn't look exactly like her, but mm. every once in a while I look at her and go, she looks like my sister. <laughs> I mean, Not at least hate. that would have helped with the, the protective angle of it. Like, mm. God, I was going to say oh. she's my least favorite sister, which would have to cut out, but I'm just going to say it anyway because she's never going to listen to this. Um, I love Candace. okay? We just I... don't have very many of similar interests, so the protectiveness is... I understand. I understand. I killed Gascard too, whereas you did not kill Gascard. Oh, right. Not that that helped. It makes no difference, but it does mean that he's not alive, which is nice. (laughs) Um, Yeah, so what did I do? I I was a rogue. Uh, I... uh, What is, like, the first thing that you do? I mean, really, it's the deep rogues. Oh, well, I mean, you have no choice there. You no, can't no, do anything else. Um, but I was very much like, rather than being like, oh, that's so sad, I was like, just fucking kill him. Uh- <laughs> I was pretty sad. I'm not going to lie. He was a shithead. Like, immediately he was like, oh, fucking mages. And I'm like, that's my sister. That's true. But 
He also was her husband. Yeah. He could have learnt the error of his ways. I also didn't really like her the whole way through the playthrough because she called Meryl an idiot, which I was doing, I will admit, as well, but not in character. Um, and she called Isabella, I think, a whore twice. Yeah. Like one time I think mm. she actually says whore, and I was like, hey, 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 that's not acceptable. It's actually really funny because I didn't like Aveline on my first, my second, my third playthrough. Um, it was actually <laughs> only on my... she grows on you. No, it was, it was actually on my stream playthrough that I went, I'm actually going to try with her a little bit. And, like, I think it's just, it was more that, because I didn't have a lot of those encounters in that game, because I, I also lost Isabella in my stream playthrough, because I just don't really care about her. Because of the fact that I know that what she did and stuff. So it's like yeah. kind of spoiled, I guess, a little bit. So I didn't have any of those interactions where she called anyone stupid. The only one she called stupid was Meryl. And I was like, well, that makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> so that, that checks out. Yeah, like I, I tried pretty hard with Aveline and I do like her now, but watching your playthrough, I was like, no, I remember why I don't like you. Like it was She's very, very like harsh. throwback. Yeah, she's very harsh and she's very lawful, but, like, in kind of an annoying way. Is there a non-annoying way to be lawful? Uh, yes. <laughs> I believe I'm in a non-annoying lawful person. You are, you are. <laughs> I'm I occasionally annoying, but, like, not. I'm, like, you. a better. <laughs> taunting you. Um, so in the... Oh, Lily's being weird. Hopefully you can't really hear. She's climbing onto a box underneath the... Can you hear that? I'm trying to hear her. What is she doing? There's, there's a box underneath the desk because right. I don't have a ton of storage space. Yeah. Um, so it's like filled with teapots and stuff because I don't have very, I have so many teapots. Um, so there's a box under my desk that's filled with like teapots and stuff. And she climbs up on top of that sometimes to sit on like on my feet because I use it as a footrest. Mm. It's just very loud when she gets up there and then everything is usually fine. Yeah. Um, um, what do I do? So. In the deep roads, I did not take Bethany, which meant she got kidnapped by the circle. Yeah, which um, is really shit. Mm. I did keep as Isabella. Um, I actually tried very hard to romance her. And by really hard, I mean we slept together. She told me she would never really love me. And I was like, are you sure? And she was like, yeah, I'm sure. And I was like, okay, I'm moving see, on. See, <laughs> see, she didn't really say that, though. Like, she did. She said, like, you don't. really. She said, I, feel like, I don't remember the exact words, but I'm pretty sure she said something like, like you, you know, this is just a just a You know, thing. this is just a fling. And, yeah. But she never said that she wouldn't love you. She just said that she wasn't in it for love. Yes. Which you that- obviously interpreted to be I very that much way. interpreted that as being I'm going to have to either spend this entire game chasing you and I don't want to chase I'm Which not a chase person you explained really well on stream that like you you like the fact that Anders was so like adamant that he wanted to be with you like he just kind of straight up like except for the fact that he's like I hate you but like yeah. but the second time you speak to him he's a yeah. little bit better like wow that's the most accepting I think I'm ever going to hear you get of something that you say. Hey, no, like, okay, right. But fucking telling someone that, you know, oh, I'm going to hurt you is such a manipulative thing. I and know, honestly, right? I just want to fucking wrangle that neck. <laughs> um, uh, but also, I, <laughs> slight sidetrack. He tells me that he was going to hurt me. And then I, the, when I first saw that scene, um, I, keep in mind I was a teenager yeah. um, but also I first saw that scene and I was like fucking dare you so I flirted with him so oh, yeah. no, I, <laughs> I mean it thing. worked he's like, but he's like I'll, I'll, I'll hurt you and I was like oh promises <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I get it I get it um what else did I do obviously you may have you may have figured this out so far I romanced Anders um mm. I sided with the mages I didn't kill Bartran. He ended up in a sanitarium. Yeah. Um, Which is a little bit sad. I was good enough friends with Isabella that she came back with the book. And so instead of fighting the Canari, just because I assume they just didn't want to fuck off if you don't have Isabella come back. What's their excuse for not leaving? No, so uh, 
if Isabella doesn't come back, yeah, basically nothing changes. Um, so basically they just don't have the, com- the the only way you can defuse the situation is if you hand Isabella over to them. Yeah, the only way you can defuse it, and that's shit. Like. Even me as someone who doesn't like Isabella all that much. Like, I just don't really think much of her. Um, I would not have done that. Like, if I had been high enough friendship that she came back, she did come back in one of my playthroughs. Um, and I did not do that. Because I was like, I, no, that's awful. So, yeah, you have to fight them. I mean, obviously, because otherwise the whole third thing doesn't happen with them have, having you know, left. Yeah. Um, so I fought them for her, um, and she was very much like, "Thank you for saving my life. Come, come, join me on my boat." Uh, which really disappointed that there wasn't any kind of side quest where I get to run around with Isabella on a boat because I said, "Yeah, sure, yeah. let's fucking go." <laughs> and oh, I, yeah. I literally reloaded like when I went back because um, at some I can't remember what decision it was at some point in time through like my my last stream before this one where I finished the game mm. I did something and I was like oh shit I've made the wrong decision so I reloaded and it reloaded like a really long way back so off stream I had to redo the thing where I tell Meryl she's an idiot I have yep. to redo the bit where I'm like there there Bartrand your brother is crazy and I do like a ghost house thing mm. um and there's there was one other that I had to redo so uh, which was the, the Isabella one um yep. so I went back and selected like uh, each different answer where instead of being like hell yeah let's go I was like what about Ender she's like just bring him with me like with you um, I went through all of them and at no point does it actually unlock something where I get to be on a boat uh, but I was like since I'm going back anyway I really want to try and get on this boat can't get on the boat oh yeah. that reminds me Fenris said something to her in this this game today where he's mm-hmm. like not gonna get on your boat you don't own a boat i was like but she does own a boat she does have a boat she just doesn't have a boat boat. though i took the option with her where the guy gives her the boat as like a no yeah you'd have a boat i wonder if that's an inconsistency thing like kind of with the dragon age stuff like I wonder if that's an a inconsistency thing. Do you know that Fenris and Isabella get together, um, like, oh, actually yeah. as a couple, if you oh, yeah. uh, don't romance them? Which is kind of cute. Like, I'm glad that they end up together. Yeah, um, very, very much so. Uh, one of them goes, I can't stop thinking about last night. And they were, like, I was like, ooh. And they're like, oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, we, we absolutely fucked. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I just, I like that interaction like that would be probably one of the reasons that I would go back and ro- or not romance anyone because I don't like Meryl or Anders, um, <laughs> or I would I would mm, do I feel like what about myself? Sebastian? Oh fuck Sebastian! <laughs> Quite literally, you can't fuck him if you friendship really? go with him because he's he's a he's a I... faithful boy, which God. like you know. Obviously, sex isn't everything, and that's a very judgmental thing for me to say. But, but at the same point, Dragon Age. <laughs> is it not? Yeah, like I, <laughs> I am interested in having sex. Just putting that out there. <laughs> um, but then you can rival romance him, and he does. But then he basically leaves you to go back to Starkhaven, and I'm like, you suck. You're pretty, Wait. but you suck. What, like he feels really bad about it and leaves? Like... No, he basically does, like, the vengeance route. He is, okay, Sebastian annoys me too. Well, not too. But he's he's so sort of against Anders, yet he's exactly the fucking same. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's so, oh, like, held up in, in his vengeance plan and stuff, but he's like, Anders, why would you do the thing that you do? Like, this is awful. Even I wouldn't go this far for vengeance. I'm like... You absolutely would. You absolutely well, would. In in mine, because I didn't kill Anders, he was, like, coming back for revenge. I'm like, fucking try me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I I actually, that was one part in the stream today where I was like, yeah, sure. Mm. <laughs> That's cool. I like just, that. <laughs> just try it. Yeah. <laughs> you dumb bitch boy. Uh, but, oh, my God, he was so pretty. It's very pretty, but that's literally all it. And I'm also not, I don't know, the whole 
the very religious or devout kind of thing yeah, is very like uncomfortable for me. I'm like, no, I'm not very interested in that. So what else do they do? Uh, I signed up with the mages. Hmm. You didn't, didn't kill, kill Anders. Asgard. Oh, you didn't kill Didn't Anders. kill Asgard either. You not also that it took mattered. Anders with you as opposed to getting him arrested. When? Uh, so you, can, you had the option of killing Anders on the spot. Yes. Or you can get him arrested and depending on whether you take the Templars or the mages will depend on where he gets locked up. Uh, or like who he gets locked up by or whatever. Um, yeah. Or you can choose to take him with you. Or you can let him go. I did say the let I did I did see the let him go option and I was like, should I just get him to fuck off and like live his life alone? I was like, nah, because I kinda understand why he did what he did. Oh, Obviously I think it's wrong, but I understand. Uh he was like, come with me and stay with me forever. <laughs> I think, yeah, like oh, you you extra can't leave me now because I <laughs> Yeah, I have a <laughs> chance. You owe me your life now. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, so you didn't do that. You decided with the mages. Um, yeah. You obviously saw what happened to Orsino. Oh, my God. Mm, oh, my God. That pisses me off to no extent because he literally goes the second before that. He's like, everyone's got to leave. Everyone's got to go. And then he turns around. He's like, no one can leave. And then does that. And it's like. You literally could have just walked out. You could have just walked and nothing would have <laughs> happened and you'd be fucking fine. But no, you had to go and be like, <sighs> you, you just saw firsthand exactly how good at this murdering people shit me and my friends are. We could have got you out of here. Why did you do that? <laughs> oh, I'm just so angry. But then obviously you saw what happened to Meredith. Yeah, crazy pants. I wasn't expecting yeah. that. I was, I. Oh, really? I had oh no, I was expecting that she was would be crazy. Yeah. But I had one hundred percent completely forgotten about that stupid lyrium idol and she was like, Aha, look at my sword, it's made of lyrium. I got it from this dwarf and I paid a very high price and I was like oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> um so I don't know if you uh and you don't really it's kind of very subtle, um, what they talk about with this kind of stuff, but uh or at least they had they have mentioned it at times, but like it wouldn't have clicked in, and it won't really click in probably until you play it again. Um, but Kirkwall essentially is a city built on multiple veins of red lyrium, so a lot of the stuff that happens in Dragon Age Two is kind of like they they kind of account for a lot of the kind of polarizing things because there's this lyrium that's infecting everyone and yeah, making everybody. everyone a little bit like, um, like a little bit more passionate and a little bit more everything like Anders um, near the end, you know how uh, you were doing it. You were seeing it on stream a little bit, like in his banter, he was like, just con consistently like, aren't you going to pick a side? I ain't going to pick a side. I ain't going to pick a side. Yeah. Like you can see that how it was like slowly starting to impact him um, it slowly started impacting all sorts of other people. Like it imp impacted Varric when he was in the manor yeah. with you. Um, and he it obviously impacted it. everyone in the circle. And it's meant to be like, that's what happened with Meredith. That's what happened with Orsino. Like everyone just kind of lost it a little. I think they did maybe make that a little bit too vague if that was what they were going for. I guess it's, it's it, that's kind of, it was always meant to be va a vague thing, I feel. Because I feel like all of these decisions that everyone made made a lot of sense. It's just that when they're amplified by the impact of something that is going to impact your mental state, it's like, it's such a more, to be honest, I think it's actually really lazy narrative, but <laughs> um, like it, it accounts for a lot of the contradictions. It accounts for yeah, why Orsino went from one side to the complete other. Why Meredith went absolutely like, you know what? Instead of dealing with things in a rational manner, I'm going to kill all mages. Like, Can I ask you a question? I'm just assuming you know everything about Dragon Age. You, I know like, some things. <laughs> in Origins, mm -hmm. I think I may be remembering this wrong. Alistair says something about all of the Templars take Lyrium mm -hmm. as, like, what? Like, steroidal magical supplements or something? But it makes you crazy. 
So, or um, crazy if you touch it before it's like processed. So, red lyrium is different because it's in its raw form. Okay. Uh, lyrium, the lyrium that you're talking about for templars is in like more like the potions. So, templars right. themselves don't have innate magical abilities. So, oh, yeah, like, that'd be pretty funny if I did. Well, yeah, <laughs> it would be like what <laughs> um so templars take lyrium in order to uh have their their better i think it's their better connection with the fade which allows them their templar abilities which are a lot yes. of like dispelling of magic um like yeah. a lot of uh alistair's techniques in origins are all about dispelling magic and removing magic and all that kind of thing um yes. but the problem with lyrium is that it's super addictive uh, yes. So basically they all get, like, they go through addiction. Um, so did I have, like, a secret drug problem that we just didn't know about? So he wasn't he wasn't ever made a Templar. He okay. never went yeah. through the ceremonies, so he never actually got Lyrium. Uh, um, but you do see it a little bit more in Inquisition when, because you have Cullen in uh, the the Inquisition, so uh, he does talk about the the addiction and all that kind of thing because he obviously had that as well. Interesting. But yeah, it's like it's it's weird because it's like using it is exactly like you said it when you mentioned it. Like it's using magic against magic, basically. Yeah. Like it's it's giving you a connection to the fade, which allows you to have powers that are they are for the Templars, but they are. Basically, magic against magic. <laughs> but magic is bad unless we do it. You can't have magic unless you're me. Yeah, it's it's a little bit fucked, to be honest. <laughs> it's very culty. It, it is very culty. Um, but not and... the kind of cult that I like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it's... <sighs> yeah. It's a bit of a fucking time. <laughs> I think that should be the, tra the 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 tagline for just Dragon Age as a series. Dragon Age, it's a bit of a fucking time. Yeah. Uh, um, okay, so I think we've gone through all the important choices that I made and all the choices that you made. So now do we, do we want to talk about boys? Sure, let's talk about boys. <laughs> Even though I've partially already talked about boys. Yeah, how, what do you, what do you, how do you feel like your, your relationship evolved across the game? <laughs> Maybe with, like, each of your party members, even, like... Even with each of my party members? I... Look, the second... With Fenris, the second I stopped trying to romance him, he was like, we're bestest friends and I love you, and I was like... Why couldn't you be like this when I wanted you to love me? <laughs> it, yeah. Fair. Fair. But also it's um, rose-coloured glasses, you know? Like... I don't know. I don't, I, I, I don't know, but um, look, I, I I talked about this a, a bit on stream, and I'm going to do it again. Um, I hated, I hated that I flirted with him, and I was like, "Hey, maybe this could be a thing." And he was like, "I'll get back to you. I have to think about this." I was like, "Bitch, I just gave you my heart, and you're gonna <laughs> think about it." Unacceptable. I'm done with this. See, and I think I also mentioned this on your stream, is that <laughs> I feel like I would do the exact same thing. If someone walked up to me and was like, hey, we should try a thing, I'd be like, hmm, sounds interesting. <laughs> like, I wouldn't be immediately like, yeah, I'm going to go for it. Like, I'm just not that impulsive, I guess, with that kind of stuff. Well, I don't think I'm impulsive either, but I'm also coming at it from singular relationship. Everything right. everything was thought through and basically pre-planned before either of us went, by the way, I like you. So when yeah. I go when I go in like in the game, I like you. I've like in my head this is I have thought this through. I have made this decision. I'm assuming you have also been thinking about this. Mm. So to have them go, oh, I have to think about this kind of feels to me because of who I am in real life. Like, 
oh, well, I haven't been thinking about you like that, so I guess maybe I'll make a decision. But I didn't see you that way at all until right this moment, and it's just yeah. like, no, I don't want to no, I get that. Um, I, I think, think a also... lot of by the way, that, like, people are in real life as well. <laughs> I think also um, I love the, the dial. I love that. I think it's great. But in Dragon Age 2, I actually think that kind of it killed, not killed the romance, but, like, you know, in, in Origins, it was really not very clear when you were mm. flirting. Like, it was always like, you know, you just had this sassy remark and then you'd be like, oh, that came back. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> that's where that went. <laughs> like, it was kind of like almost like a slow burn, right? Yeah. Whereas... Except for the different where I said one thing to yeah. him and he was like, oh, we're going to fuck? And I was like, we are? <laughs> Did I agree to that? Yeah, well, and maybe, then maybe not. And be like, no, no, wait, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> um, yeah, so maybe that. Um, but... And then we have Dragon Age 2 where you've gone from Dragon Age Origins where it's like, I can have a love interest. Like, why don't you immediately love me? And then <laughs> you you have the option to flirt with them and you expect like, oh, this is where it starts. But no, it's not. Like, because even with Anders, like you flirted with him the first time and he was all like, I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> like, and, and it just kept flirting. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't say like he didn't like for whatever reason or like not for whatever reason because he had a very clear reason as to why you didn't go for say Fenris um big mistake <laughs> Maybe. my opinion my opinion to be fair um you might not be wrong but also I just really enjoy like there are so many moments where you flirt with him and he's like when he's drinking the wine and stuff and you sit there and you flirt with him and he just turns over and he's like you're dangerous aren't you and I'm like yeah I am <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I just it's just really thoroughly enjoying um but yeah I can see how seeing that you would have been like no but if you had stuck it out I would be curious to see how that ended up because I was really I was really surprised that your part with Isabella was so quick. Like, I was expecting that to be a little bit later. But you went like, nope, gonna fuck. <laughs> yes, I did. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't, yeah, because I've only played it the one time and I've not watched anybody else play it. I can just went, okay, that's, it's, it's easy. <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. And, like, uh, I guess it's not that I think you rushed it. I think it's more like I, I actually just... hadn't seen it in context of a full playthrough. Like, I'd only seen, like, the, the cutscenes. I didn't realise how quickly in the game that happened. It was pretty quick, yeah. Yeah. Like, it was, what, Act 1? Wasn't it? It was Act 1, wasn't it? Uh, no, I think it was the very, very... It was basically the first thing I did in Act 2, I think. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Because she said something like... Oh, like, it's in oh, the house. Like, yeah, of course. Uh, oh, yeah, it was in my house, that too. Yeah. I got a house. Mm. Um, that'll never happen in real life. I'll never own a house. <laughs> um, <That's rude. laughs> and a very nice house with two stories and, like, four rooms. That's completely out of, out of my league. Um, what was I going to say? Going with romance things or like even progressive things, uh, I loved Varric. Mm. He was so sweet. All his nicknames. Blondie is just a bit boring, but like Sunshine and Daisy and stuff like that. It's like, oh, that's so cute. Um, and he just calls you Hawk. <laughs> like... I know. I was about to say, and I also don't get a nickname at all. Um, but uh, I thought that was sweet. I thought that was very, very sweet. The dog's, the dog's making noises. Um, I just thought he was lovely. He was a lovely ray of sunshine. Yeah. Um, it's kind of sad you can't romance him. Yeah. Uh, I liked Meryl for the most part in the beginning. I thought she was very cute. And then I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> um, so we progressed downhill on that. Mm. Uh, and is that is that that's all the party members? I mean, you didn't really talk about like I didn't like Avalon, uh, so I left her alone. Oh yeah, Avalon, you did, yeah. I guess um like later on like with 
Isabella and Fenris, you didn't really discuss much. Like, I know, talked I about that the early cute. time, yeah. but... Um, I liked that Isabella was, like, after she came back, she's like, I can't believe you fought for me! And I'm like, hell yeah! <laughs> Yay! Um, <laughs> I, I really liked her, like, the whole way through. Yeah. Uh, maybe that is because she came back for me, but I was just like, you're a bit of a selfish little bitch, but now that you're back, you seem to be, like, back for good. You're all in. So I, I did like that. Um, thought Sebastian was really, really cute. But God, good mm. Lord, that's it. Um, and, no, I think I said later on with, like, Fenris, he was like, oh, you're my friend. Like, you're my only friend. Like, we're friends. And I was like... <laughs> How good is it when he turns around and he's like, uh, my friend, and you're like, oh. Yeah, the first, time, the first time I clicked him and he was like, my friend, I was like, oh. <laughs> When he says, uh, if you romance him, he says, I am yours. And it's like, oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> uh, and then I, I guess I have, have to talk about the Anders thing. Uh, 100% all the time, give me all your devotion. Love me completely. Uh, mm. <laughs> I want that. You definitely got um, that. I, I did. It was a tiny bit creepy. I really didn't appreciate the the line of like I've been thinking about you for three years. Yeah. I've been dreaming about you for three years. I'm like, wasn't like I'm not sure dreaming if... about what this would be like for three years. Yeah, or something along those lines. It's not just yeah, it's, it was something. It was something creepier than just I've been thinking about you for three years. It was something where I went. Was that really necessary? Was that really necessary? Um, it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I don't know. I don't know. I just liked him. He was think, very, yeah. very intense. And mm-hmm. I think that was fun. I wouldn't like that in real life. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Like, absolutely not. Also, I was about ready to, like, if they had the option to kill him when he emotional, uh, emotionally blackmails you into going talking to the clerk, like, I can't tell you, I can't tell you, you're just going to have to do this, but don't you love me? I would have killed him then, but I was over it enough by the time he murdered hundreds of people that I was like, no, I'll just keep you. But I guess it's also, like, it's an interesting point because uh, it also shows, like, you are very very loyal um and you had gone this far with him Mm. i think if you had say romance isabella and he had done this and you didn't have that connection with him i think your reaction would be very different i'm mm, i'm not sure maybe but also I'm very much like a ride or die kind of person. I'm like, these people, I've known them for six years now. They're like my family. Yeah, I guess I mean, I'm more like, you know, he wouldn't have said like, oh, if you love me, you do it with the, the Chantry thing. Oh, he would have oh, just that's been like, point. I'm not going to tell you, but I'm going to go make you do it. Like, oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, like I mean, even before be all the crazy stuff happened, it. you would have just immediately been like, yeah, like, no, I don't how like that. pissed were you no, at, at fucking what? Alistair before you romanced yes. him when he didn't tell you that he was, like, next to line no, to no, the no. throne? No, I think at that point I had... Oh, Lily's, Lily's climbing. Um, oh. I think at that point in time I had started to romance him, which was, like, I just picked a couple of the options. We hadn't gone very far. Come here. Say hello. That's my dog. Hello. Put Aww. your head back under the desk now. Um... Just so when you see these ears, you're not going to be like, what, there's no grown tentacles or something. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I hate, I hate being lied to. I hate being lied to in games. I hate being lied to in real life. I hate people even insinuating the fact that they may have lied to me. Um, <laughs> I just, um, I, I'm a very loyal person. And so I demand loyalty back. And if you're not going to give me that, uh, you don't deserve my time. I 110% am on your side with that. <laughs> like, like I, and I know that I am obviously biased towards Fenris. Like, let's put this out here. I am. 
But <laughs> I like the fact that he is so blunt and so obvious about everything. He doesn't lie to you. He just goes like, I don't like mages. <laughs> like... And, you know, it's very fucking tiring, especially when you yourself were a mage. <laughs> but um, but I like the fact that he's just he's just so honest about it. Or, like, he walks into a situation, he's like, I don't feel comfortable here. Like, I like that. But, yeah, Anders is all like, oh, I'm going to partially manipulate you and then partially manipulate you here and la, 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 la. Like, he's being honest, but he's not being honest. It's not the full truth. Yeah, and I don't, I don't like being deceived. Yeah, but also, you know, I have, I also had bad vibes about Anders from the beginning. So I had a very, very different experience for both of us. Yeah, I had also. I'm assuming there was a, there was time between you playing Awakening and then playing Two, because even though he was a very different character, there was a bit in my head that was like. Remember what he was like in Awakening? I really liked him then. Like, I yeah. already had, like, a stupid gamer crush on him that I didn't have any time to get over because it was, like, two days in between. <laughs> that does make it hard. I like Justice so much more than I liked uh, Anders and that. I actually, when I played Dragon Age 2, I went back and did a full playthrough of Origins and Awakening. Mm. So I had done a similar thing to you, but I loved Justice. I didn't like, well, no, I didn't like Anders. I just was pretty, like, meh about him. Like, I was like, yeah. you're kind of annoying. Like, you're trying too hard to be Alistair, and I don't like that. I want <laughs> Alistair back. Like, he was, like, I you know, being really funny and stuff, that. and I'm like, give me Alistair, not you. Stop telling me jokes. Stop it. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. That was That was also very much... Uh... I don't know. I just I could never read him, and it was it was it was very annoying to me. I like people to kind of be very very upfront. Yeah, and he he was not very upfront. Like there was a lot of humor to deflect what he was like and stuff. Like even with with Alistair, he he did a lot of humor, but he was still very openly honest. You could with Alistair if he was like making too many jokes. Be like enough yeah. of that. Tell tell me tell me what you're really thinking about. <laughs> and then he would like if yeah. he did that with Anders, he'd be like, "Oh, but don't you love me?" I'd be like, mm. <laughs> "Not anymore." But yeah, I actually um funny funnily enough uh, with the whole uh, I feel like we'll eventually get to the 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 elephant in the room, the uh, chantry explosion. Um, I actually thought that you would like that. The whole time, I was like, Mel will actually agree with this. Because... I did. Yeah. And, like, I... <laughs> so I... When I first played it, I was very pissed off with it. And I was very annoyed by it. And it was, like, the worst thing that had fucking happened. Because they killed a bunch of innocent people and whatever. Like, I was very, very vehemently against it. Now, I am very, very vehemently against it. But because... I wasn't able to have the option of doing anything else. Like, he was never open with me about what he was doing to the point that I could never make an alternative plan. I couldn't... Yeah. I couldn't stop that from happening. And that shits me. That my, my choice is taken from my hands and it's given to you, who you decide, you know what, these two are fighting, let's make a distraction over here. Like... <laughs> <sighs> Which you obviously were have, like a slightly different opinion with. Yeah, no, I, I can I can be a very extreme person. I have no problems taking like I don't know extreme measures in in relationships and real life. If I think things, if, if I think it needs to be done, and so I very much went. Well, that was a shitty thing too, but I actually think it needed to be done. So I'm okay with it. Like, it sucks that there was all that collateral damage. But also, I don't have my thoughts completely together on this because it has been like two hours. That is also um, fair. That is also fair. <laughs> so it gives me kind years. of 
saying things and then accidentally coming back and like correcting myself. Um, there was absolutely a war going to happen. Mm. How many people would have died anyway? Like it was a terrible, it was a terrible mm-hmm. thing to, it was a terrible thing to do, but it forced an action. I think that would have afterwards. What are you gonna? What What are all these people going to do? It's done mm. now. Yeah. Because especially with Meredith the way she was, obviously losing her mind. Mm. So she manages to get rid of all the mages. Well, that person that I saw them read tarot one time, maybe they're magic, secretly magic. Like, mm. it's not go- it wouldn't have stopped when she got rid of all the people who did have magic. Because that's not what that kind of person does. She would have just kept killing people and she would have had new excuses for it and it would have got worse and it would have got worse and it would have got worse. Obviously, it's a terrible thing to do, but I think it did end things. I don't but know also, about I haven't played things. I, I haven't played Inquisition, so I don't know if it actually ended well, anything. But it felt I, like an end. I it felt like Cullen backing off and being like backing off was kind of like, okay, you know what? We're gonna go back into our box now. I am, and actually, I meant to ask you about that, but we'll talk about it after. Um... Because you, at that point, like when everything had happened, you were kind of making a comment about how Colin hadn't changed. And then obviously he had that moment, yeah. which isn't like, you know, huge. Like, it's not like, oh, let's forgive all the horrible, terrible things that you did. Even if you were slightly influenced by Lyrium and you were tortured for like a certain amount of time by literal demons. Um, okay, but, but you know, was- whatever. That was years ago. Get over it, right? Um, the part that uh, the thing is, is that I agree with you. I agree wholeheartedly that something needed to be ha- to happen. It was a catalyst to get whatever the fuck they were going through to get them to come to heads and sort their shit out, right? The thing I don't agree with is blowing up the Chantry <laughs> and killing no, a bunch of innocent people. I honestly think... Tenders. Well... I also disagree with that because you think about there was like the the family where there was the guy who uh, was a Templar and he was just trying to feed his family and all this kind of thing. Like uh, there are a lot of innocent people in the Templars too. Like in the same way that there are some shitty people in the mages, but there are also some good people in there as well. Yeah. Um, Okay. How about I amend it to if he could blow up just the people that are full blown Templars who have already done witch hunts and murders and torture, then I would have been fine with it. If he could have found a way to blow up the actual barracks and left the recruits alone who had not yet murdered people. I I know that's. I would have preferred he'd blown up the Templars. Would have actually preferred that he basically did a jailbreak. Like, he blew up a part of the circle and got a bunch mm. of mages out. But and then blew it up and was like, by the way, everybody's dead. Ha-ha. The other Don't option, look. and uh, the grandmother talks about this, she says about how the divine... So the grandmother is the one that obviously died when uh, the, the Chanchi blew up. Yeah. Um, which, you know, like, she's, she was a very impartial woman, which does obviously make things really difficult. It but bugs me everyone was like cullen he obviously had these thoughts for however long and it took meredith going absolute batshit for him to to come to just partially batshit yeah like you had your reservations like uh, anyway (laughs) like uh so there were so many people that were being impartial so many people so meredith was able to just do her thing because she was the only one doing anything yeah. She was the only one that went, I'm going to take control, I'm going to do things. But she was unchallenged. I said this about Anders before I knew he was going to blow a whole load of people up. I very much like someone that has their convictions, even if they're not quite right, and acts on them. I just don't and think he, he should have blown up the that. Chantry. Yeah, like, I'm not I so think sure that's, certain about that. That is 110% his vengeance side showing and being like, fuck the Chantry, they made my life more difficult. I'm going to blow up the Chantry. It wasn't wasn't to stop the war. It was because he was angry at them for not doing anything. I do also, like, I know I'm like, he should have blown up the Templars. That's just because I don't really like the Templars. 
Um, I do get why he picked the Chantry over the Templars because blowing up the Chantry is kind of like the middle ground between yeah. the Circle yeah. and the Templar. If he'd blown up the Templars, that could have looked like the Mages had done it. If he'd blown up the Circle, it could have looked like the Templars had done it. So yeah. by blowing up the thing that they had in common, mm. I feel like that's why that was picked. I don't like it. I would have blown up the Templars. But... It kind of like promoted anarchy and not like anarchist. I mean actual anarchy because the, the law in the middle there was removed. Yes. So there wasn't, there wasn't the intermediary there, which... I get, but he kind of you could have done things in so many. You could have just not fucking blown up the Chantry. Like you could have literally had. You could have. You could have talked to Hawk about it and worked out a solution, right? Okay, but like, also had 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 he talked to my Hawk and been like, "I'm considering blowing up the Chantry," I would have been like, "Fuck yeah!" But he would have talked to you about it, and like but he would have talked. About it. He would have talked to you about it. And I would be more okay would, with it no. if he talked to you about it and you made a decision because then I imagine that if you had had the option of talking about it, you could have talked about ways that you make sure that no one's in there, that it's more of a, a political statement than anything. Like you just blow up the building, right? That still has the same impact. Uh, yes, there's going to be a parade and every single member of the Chantry must attend for reasons. Like, or yeah, you just literally drag them out the front or something. Like, fucking, who knows? Just, or, you know, also stick all the shitty ones in there and just get them to blow up. That's fine. But, like, but yeah. I mean, like, you could have done thing. you could have done that in a way that didn't kill a whole bunch of people. A whole bunch of innocent but people. Also not, that, it's not as fun that way. Yeah, but that's not the point, is it? No, it's is not it, the Mel? point. The point is supposed to be justice. But also, so Althena, she also stopped the the divine was going to come over. So that Cassandra and Leliana are the left and right hand of the divine, right? Um, which yes. you find out in Inquisition, and you would have you would have sawn a little bit that of that, life. yeah, when I was playing Inquisition yesterday. Um, the divine was going to come to Kirkwall, and Althena talks to you about it and says that she told the divine that everything was fine. Yeah. Which is also her not. fault. But can you imagine if she didn't do that? If she didn't do that, the divine came and went, what the fuck is happening what here? What the fuck are you guys doing? And would have just been like, children go to bed. Like, <laughs> because, and I don't know if you were there for this part in the Inquisition part, but they discussed that basically Kirkwall was the worst of it. For no, I didn't. was also I bad. So the circle in different places is completely different. Mm -hmm. Our opinion of the circle so far is formed by what happened in Ferelden and what happened in Kirkwall. But that kind of stuff is actually an outlier. Yeah. For example, the circle in Orlais is a lot more free. Like you actually kind of like live at home and you are only mildly supervised as opposed to like living in prison. And Which is, like, not that bad. But also, it shows that people can't be fucking trusted if they don't have someone watching over them being, like, checking them out. Like, you know, just keeping them in check. Yeah. Which is... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm very much of the opinion, and maybe it's a little bit of an uninformed in opinion because I haven't gotten super into law and stuff and by super into law i mean i haven't looked at it at all because i don't want to accidentally read something you get a spoiler that's fair. um but um it really seems to me like the circle exists so stop mages go and demon hmm. but most of what the circle does is take away freedoms enough that the mages feel like the only thing that they can do to get out of that is to go fucking abomination and it's like, if you weren't so strict, this wouldn't happen so often. And the fact that you are so strict means this happens more often, which makes you think that you need to be stricter, which makes more people want to make deals with fucking demons. So how about you just shut your goddamn mouths and leave everybody alone? I, yeah, completely agree. Absolutely. Fucking fantasy Catholics. Like I suggested earlier, I don't specifically have an issue with blood magic because it is a form of magic that uses... Uh, your life force 
and the life force of people around you in some instances, which is, that's the bad part, right? If you're using your own, what does that matter? What does that matter? If you are using your own life force or even possibly the life force of those dead around you, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. What is bad well, I, is inviting demons. Had, oh, yeah. Because because I didn't have that much context, because uh, I don't know all that much about it, I just assumed that all blood magic, probably because Anders kept saying it, all blood yeah. magic leads to demons. I assumed that was how it went. I know, yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> Leave my boy alone. But, yeah, he, and... Bad, he, wrong opinions in my head. But, but also I think that is kind of a a purposeful thing for their narrative to kind of make mm. blood magic and demons the same. That is that is on purpose. They try yeah. and make you think that all blood magic leads to demons because it gives you as a player an ignorant view of it so that when you see it, you're like, oh, demons. But like technically that's not what happens. Like mm. there are, they're all, there is no such thing technically as demons. Demons don't yeah. exist. No. Demons are defined by malevolent fucking ideals. Like you have virtuous spirits or you have uh, the the more aggressive types. <laughs> like my age. The seven deadly sins. Yes. Uh, which is very Catholic. It's very Catholic. It's very Catholic. Just the whole way through both mm-hmm. games I've been like, this is so fucking Catholic bullshit. Like, yeah. where's the Pope? Show me to the Pope. I have something to say. Uh, <laughs> which, which is supposed yeah. to be the divine. The divine uh, is like a... Yeah, kind of, I guess. Yeah, that whole thing is just a bit messed up, to be honest. Like it's like there's there's the divine, right? And then there's the the grandmother who acts in like as a representative of the divine. Yeah. But they're working for the chantry. Like, but I, it's just it just oh, I don't know. It's all a bit gross. <laughs> I think like I mentioned last night on stream, like I really feel like it should be a a, a three. Like it should be should be like ruled with three representatives. You should have a representative of the Chantry because there is the deep, steep beliefs in the Maker, and obviously there are some things that can't be ignored, like the fact that Darkspawn existed, all that kind of thing. And also, yeah. like, um, uh, yeah, there's just... Basically, the Chantry should exist for the good of everyone. Right? Then you mm-hmm. should have a representative from the Templars who acts in opposition to the 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 people from, like... That are a mage. Yeah. Right? You should have three of them. So you shouldn't what, just be one person, you should have three of them. Yeah. One of each? Yeah. One and also each. maybe someone that's not God influenced. Well, just none like. Of them are God influenced. No, no, but like it's. I know it's not God, God, but it's like magic, opinions on magic. I have magic. I would like there not to be magic. I, the, the kind of middle ground, but they all have to do with magic. Maybe there should be somebody in there every once in a while that just goes, other things are happening in the world. <laughs> I guess more... Since they I do say, seem to be thinking of basically everything. They're very involved in everything. I say a representative of the Chantry, right? But I actually don't mean the Chantry as a religious thing. I mean the Chantry as in a representation of people. Yeah, so basically like, the, like a king or a queen. Like... There... Well, there was the Viscount, was he? Who, who yeah. died and didn't get replaced. Like, someone mm-hmm. like him. Yeah, someone that is working with the sole interests of not to benefit themselves, but to benefit the people, which isn't quite what the Viscount is, but, like, yeah, basically that idea, like, to work in the interests of the people, the general population, the proletariat. Mm-hmm. Am I encouraging communism? Maybe. <laughs> Not quite, but <laughs> oh, camera! Hello. That <laughs> camera decided to bring up my face. So, how are you processing, Mel? Am I processing? I don't know. <laughs> it just there were so many times in two. Like we were saying earlier, that it mm. feels like there are less decisions that are like big decisions. It feels like the whole game are like yeah. small decisions that lead up to a big decision. There are a lot of uh, 
origins were big decisions mm. followed by big decisions followed by more big decisions followed by god why do i have to make this decision um uh and true was a lot of small decisions that lead to big things happening um and I've entirely forgotten where I'm, where I'm going with this. Oh, no, but for a game that has so many small decisions that you feel like they're maybe not actually worth anything, that game had so many big moments that just kind of made me go like, brain not work. My mother was a Frankenstein. Yeah. Uh, uh, it also gave me... My boyfriend the... defended for the world. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it gave you the illusion of choice. Like yeah. with your mother, right? It would have made sense if your mother died if you didn't kill Gascard, right? Yeah. But it makes no difference. Your choice makes absolutely no difference on the end outcome. In the same way with Anders. If you choose or don't choose to go and help him with this thing, it happens regardless. And it with seems the thing like with Meredith. Meredith well. She'll do whatever she wants. Yeah, Meredith, uh, Meryl's thing will happen regardless. Same with Meredith. If you kill B Bartran like I did... She still goes and finds a like a piece of the idol and has a weapon. Like yeah. it gives you the illusion of choice, and a lot of that is based on the fact that I think I explained this to you maybe when the start of the game uh, when you started the game. But the game itself was quite rushed. Yeah, yeah, that was mentioned, and I do feel like that is why there are so many decisions in that game that don't feel like they contribute as much as what they did in Origins. Yeah. Uh, it was it was so cool. Though. It was so good. I had so much fun. I'm so sad that it's over. You know what's even worse? I have Inquisition. I have a D one DLC and then I have Inquisition and then what? I have to wait till 2022 if it's not delayed further because of the pandemic. And it's just like I can't live that long. You do realise that, like, Inquisition is a huge game, though, right? Nope. I don't it realize. Is, it is legitimately, like, minimum 100 hours. <gasps> Excellent. This took me 40 hours and it took me two weeks. <laughs> it's, like... Uh, I played 40 hours of this game in, like, two and a half weeks. Oh, my God, Mel. Look, I believe it. Um, I saw it pop up when I closed it for the last time. It was like, you've played 40 hours of this game. I'm like, in two weeks. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Oh, oh no, he goes... But like, yeah, Inquisition is a lot longer. There's, it's not as, like I found when I was playing Dragon Age 2, like I'd walk away and I was like emotionally exhausted. Like you were mm -hmm. thrown on such a roller coaster that like you'd, you'd go away from it and just be like. I, I feel that, I feel that too. I was quite, with, with 2, I was desperate to get back at it every time I finished. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, tomorrow I'm going to play more. I like or I like all the characters I think in Origins better, but I didn't yeah. feel so much of a rush mm. to get back into it. Like I'd finish and I'd be like, oh, I could play some more. No, I can't because I'm playing this on stream, um, and I may do something important, and then uh, it would it would be bad because I will have missed something. But I could be like, yeah, this is fine. I'll be back tomorrow. But like, um, so I stream Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays, and on Wednesdays and Thursdays, I was like. Gotta get my Dragon Age fix. <laughs> but I feel like I just, it's almost like it. a, a healthier view of it, though, right? Like, I think about Origins, and Origins is my favorite out of um, all of them. Mm. Uh, and I was, I was very similar. Like, I played Dragon Age two and could zoom through it because I was so eager to pick it up. Mm -hmm. But also, so much happened in a small amount of time. It almost felt like, like it was very like. Oh, look this. Oh, look, plot twist. Oh, look this. Oh, look, plot twist. Oh, look this. Oh, look, plot twist. Like, there was so much happening. Whereas yeah. Origins built on so much lore and backstory and, like, there oh, was a lot I of thought. reading and talking to do and all that kind of stuff. Which, like, you know, even if you don't go and read the codexes, even talking to someone can take an extra ten minutes. Like, it just, yeah, you take more time being meticulous and going through and making sure you do everything or whatever. Like, do you even notice that, like, maybe you miss some ingredients from Dragon Age 2? No. No, because you just zoom through it. <laughs> Which yeah. isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just that it's different. Yeah. And Inquisition goes back. So it kind of gets you, like, that adventuring part of Origins, but with better combat. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> and you, you, but you properly uh, search places. Like you go oh. to an area and it is a huge area. And you go and do things and like hunt animals for materials to make like items and all sorts of stuff. No one blows up chantries, at least not for anyone I remember. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. Uh, about origins. Okay. Mm-hmm. That Hulla that I couldn't save, yeah. which I still feel bad about, tell me there's a way to save it. It doesn't yeah. like does, does it die forever all the time? Or if you're like a mage, can you save it? Uh so you have to have high survival skill. Right. Okay. Um I believe survival is nearly as much fun as knives. In my playthrough, it wasn't me that had it. It was Zevran, I think, who had high survival. So I got Zevran to look at it and healed it and whatever. Interesting. Hmm. I remember that for when I I don't actually know what impact that has. Probably none. I just felt bad about letting a deer die. Save the harbor. Oh, there we go. Let's have a look. Can you load, please? Please and thank. <laughs> Hello, Axis. Okay, you get experience. You get given the antlers if it dies, which is sad. Uh, I didn't uh, let it die. I just was like, well, I guess I can't do anything. You can, you can deal with this later. There was very much the option of, I can kill it quickly for you. And I was like, uh-uh, no. Oh, it's not really that exciting. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's kind of sad. Um, if oh. you end up killing it, you can use the horns to give to the hermit in the woods. Oh. I usually just kill him. I killed him. Because he's just... Oh, he's here's the question. So you did Dalish as well. In the very yeah. beginning, when those people wander into the woods, do you kill them or no, do you I let not? No, I them go. <laughs> I'll kill them. <laughs> that that was, uh, but you you didn't start off being like I'll kill you. You were like, we'll just make sure that not all of them get back. <laughs> yes, uh, and and then they were shit, so I killed them all. Yeah, they were shit, so they were shits. That is. Oh, I'm bad about town again. <laughs> <laughs> well, was there anything else you wanted to to talk about? I feel like you need a little bit of processing time. Yeah, I think I think I think I've talked about everything that I want to talk about. Yeah. There's a lot to talk about. There's so much to talk about. Maybe it's worth having another conversation at the end of Inquisition. <sighs> yes, let's. Uh, I do think as well, when we finish New Dawn, we should have a have a chat about everything that happened in all of Far Cry uh, 5. And basically New Dawn is a DLC. So <laughs> I, do need to ha- I do need to get out my, my repressed memories about that Jacob route. Oh, yeah. It's just, just watch over some of your streams. Yeah, well, do, you keep, do you keep stream recordings? Hell yeah. I, I'm actually going to go through and do the playthrough, like pull the playthrough up again. Uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't think I'm ever going to do anything with any of my stream recordings, but I record them anyway and I just back them up on a, on a hard drive and I'm like, maybe one day. I'm never going to do it. I'm, I'm, well, if I'm, if I'm missing any footage, I'll message you and be like, yo, send it through to me. If, if you ever hear me say something ridiculous like, like, oh my god, why did you do that? And you want to see what my face looks like so you can stick it in the corner and have like a reaction, just let me know. Um, <laughs> but I do want to do one of these for Far Cry when we eventually finish New Dawn. Um, and yeah, I like the idea of us recommending games that are going to emotionally hurt each other. Oh my god. <laughs> like, Could you imagine things. just like reviewing things like this and just having conversations about it and being like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, how many what the fucks did I get up to with my what the fuck counter? Oh, it's it was like close. 16 or something. It was it? Like 16. And, and you, that had, was you okay. started off the stream with 10. I did. I feel um, like that was that was very reserved. We basically put it down every oh, time yeah. you said what the fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You probably should have done it with some of my facial reactions as well. Yeah. But, but I also, think I, mm. I also got up to, I think I only got up to like 16 or 18. Uh, shut the fuck up, Anders. Um, and I got up to like 32 or 34 for Alistair. <laughs> but that, you did start that later because you didn't know that you I, were going to romance Anders. That's true. I was very indecisive. 
And also, Anders doesn't really get annoying annoying until, like, near the end. Yes, but he did very often. I'd have him in a conversation and he was like, I have something to say about this. And I was like, but sh- you don't have to. You don't have to. <laughs> I'm going to rip on Meryl. And you're like, that's a little bit mean. <laughs> oh, yeah, just that bit after, like, she's just killed the Keeper. And, like, Fenris is like, you're a monster. And Anders is like, you're no, Anders is like, you're a monster. And Fenris is like, I agree, you're a monster. And, like, she just killed her mother figure. Like, both of you shut yeah. up. Yeah, it's kind of like, I'm just... It's really funny because it looks like those two should get along, even though, like, obviously they have very different opinions. But, like, considering the fact that they basically agree on a lot of things, it's, like, kind okay. of almost like you should, should be friends. They are they are very different but very similar people. Yeah, absolutely. It's very funny. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just... I am... I... I didn't know that's how that was going to end. I didn't know that it was going to end so quickly. Like, it really did feel like... Because it was three hours. Yeah. And I did some shit before that. Mm-hmm. Like, but from the second I was like, okay, we're going to... Okay, go. We're going to do this. There was, like, barely a second to breathe. Everything just went down hill. Like, I was on, like, a rocket-propelled fucking go-kart. Like, it was just... Wait, well, what? Yeah, wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> the game didn't go like, oh, this will be like a last thing. Like, you yeah. know, get your affairs in order. It was just like, oh, yeah. yo, you rock up to their conversation line and you're like, oh. <laughs> but also I was very grateful that the final battles were not as difficult as they were in Origins. Yeah. I reckon I spent almost two hours trying to kill that fucking dragon. I know. And then, like, if you don't use the ballista properly as well, like, that does so much damage. Uh, yeah, I didn't use that properly. <laughs> it was hard, though, because, like, you, it, I was trying to explain to you what to do, but you were just like, I don't get it. <laughs> I, I didn't understand it all, and I was I was yeah. just so overwhelmed, um, which is just how, how I do things. I don't think things through. I just jump in head first and then go, oh, my God, I'm drowning. I think it's um, also hard because, like, that's really the first time that you've had – things to interact with on a battlefield as yeah. well like there's That's not really any many other fights where that happens also um like that final battle playing games like that is why i thought that i wouldn't like dragon age because that's right. the kind of stuff that I'm not really interested in. Like, I don't like trying to keep a whole load of people alive. If you watched any of my stuff, you'll see that I am not a tactics person. I did not touch tactics until that one fight where I was like, okay, everybody needs to heal themselves, and that's the only thing I'm going to direct you to do. Yeah. Like, so that final battle was exactly why I hadn't wanted to play it, and it took me, like, two hours. And I was just about ready to, like, yeet my entire computer out of a window. Um, yeah. It's just, yeah, it was a grind. And I don't like grinding things, which is why I play everything on easy. But also I do like grinding things, which is why I flirted with everyone. Um, <laughs> I'm just so um, glad you didn't end up with Meryl, like of all of them. Yeah. She was very childlike. Yeah. Like, I didn't dislike her but she wasn't like childish she was childlike and that kind yeah. of made me think oh. I guess it's more like could you imagine what would have happened you found out about the Olivian as like you're romancing her and you're like <laughs> I would have thrown her in it <laughs> I would have crushed it up into tiny little bits of mirror and I would have rolled her in the broken shards um Oh my god, that would have been the worst. Mm-hmm. It was already just about the worst thing that happened in the game. Now that I've finished it, still considering everything, it was just about the worst thing that happened in the game. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh dear. But yeah, I guess that's I think, really it. I think we've covered just about everything. We did it. That is our, our first episode of our new podcast. Um, that it shall remain unnamed until we think of a good name 
you know what I just you know what I thought of like uh, when we what? mentioned that it's a currently unnamed podcast you know yeah. that untitled goose game was supposed to end up with a name right <laughs> yeah but they just kept it as the untitled goose game I have a feeling that we're going to get to when we want to release this and we're still not going to have a name for it and it's going to be like the untitled bullshit podcast <laughs> like I mean, I'm down, but <laughs> we'll we'll have a bit of a discussion about it. Um, but yeah, call it Rival Mance. Oh my god, call it Rival oh, Mance. That'd be cute. But is that, <laughs> is that copyright? Is it copy? Is it actually a word that they use in the games? I don't. Is know. it not something that fans came up with? Let's do some research. Let's let's do a little bit of research because we very much quite often have like opposing opinions. Oh yeah, absolutely. So I I think that it would kind of work. We are Fenris and Anders. <laughs> like Ouch. absolutely. Ouch. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> no, knowing how you feel about him. Ouch. <laughs> no, but we're like we're like what Fenris and Anders should be. Like really, really good friends because they're actually very similar, but they yeah. also have polar opposite views. <laughs> oh, I like I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay yeah. with that. I was I was the, my immediate uh, reaction to you were like Anders was <gasps> Not hey, I don't like it hey, because you don't. Hey, I've, I may not like Anders, but I still read a lot of Fenris and Ander fan fiction. Oh, my God, really? A lot of it. <laughs> that big thing. Holy shit. I haven't read any Dragon Age fan fiction. I haven't really been a fan fiction person for, like, a while. But... Yeah. Oh, now that the game is unspoiled, let's let's go get some smut. Um, <laughs> you can also read my smut, which is still online. <laughs> is it smutty? <laughs> it's it's it, super smutty. I didn't get to the smutty part. No, oh, I I opened it. I, I, do you mind if I talk about this? <laughs> oh yeah, go for it. It's fine. Okay. So I I opened it. Bar is posted in in her Discord. She's like, I used to I used to write fan fiction. Here is my fan fiction, and I opened it kind of expecting it to just be like a, a one shot, but it's a couple of chapters. And I was like, I don't have time for this right now. But like, I think even just the preview line says something about uh, Fenris's naked body, and I clicked on it, yeah. and I was like, smut, and it wasn't. And I was like, well, <laughs> no, it wasn't. Um, mm. I know what I, I know what I'm about. I didn't quite, I don't think I, yeah, I don't think I quite got there. Maybe you should pick it up again since you haven't updated it since 2011. Uh, Yeah, but, uh, (laughs) effort. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, true. Also, does anybody use that platform anymore? It's basically dead. It's basically dead. AO3, so. I don't really know. I never moved on from fanfiction because I like fanfiction.net because I always use that. I think Wattpad is Wattpad was a thing for a while. I don't think it is um, so much anymore. Look, there's another when, one too. I don't remember what it was. When I started we were, we talked about this just a little bit. Um when I started reading fanfiction. Mm. It was before all of that. It was right. basically when you had to go into those, hi, I made a quiz, there's one answer, and that's how you get to the next the next part. So it would be a wall of text, you click next, instead of being like a personality quiz where it's like pick like a spider or a, a, a bear or whatever, um, it would have two options and both of them would just take you to the next question. Oh. Because there wasn't anything out there to put your fucking stupid stories on. And this is when you were like, oh, but, like, that was ages ago. And I was like, I am as old as the ages. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Any, anybody out there, does anybody else remember when you, we, we used to read our fan fiction through quiz websites? God. It's a bit of a time. The, how <laughs> the ages have evolved. I, I am 4,000 years old. Yeah, that's true. But anyway, that will be it for us today. Uh, I'm Burrows, and that's... Maleficent! Yeah! Hey. And by the time this is released, we'll probably have a name, so that'll be Hopefully. nice. Hopefully, Hopefully we find out that Bible Man isn't any kind of copyright, or we've come oh, up with a better, be like, cool. better idea. Or it could be the title of the episode if it is copyright. Oh, that's that's but... true. How long have we been talking for? Are we going to, like, cut this down significantly? This is, like, just over two hours. <laughs> we may have to go through this and take out some tangents. 
Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. But I mean, there was a little bit in the middle where, like, you were trying to work out what was going on with your couch and stuff. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Weird noises happening in my house. Yeah, yeah. But yes, we will see you all next time that we do it. Another time. Whatever we decide to choose as our next topic. If you if you heck and check out the things down there, you can find out where the hell and the heck we do our announcements. And give us, I don't know, suggestions and shit. What we can talk yeah. about. No, I'm working. Also games that can rip our hearts out. Yes. Oh my god, please give me recommendations that are going to hurt me. Yep. Oh, <laughs> uh, hello, have we figured out why I picked Anders? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.